Good morning, all. Uh, today we will see how we can um, create a Selenium hub on a AWS cloud instance. So first of all, let me log into AWS account. So on my AWS console, I will go and uh, look for EC2 where we will be creating a Windows instance. Uh, for this demo, we'll be using Windows and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, launch instance. I'll just go for Windows. So, okay, let me use this Windows, uh, Microsoft Windows Server to 2019 base. Okay, let me go ahead with that. Uh, for this demo, we will just use the T2 Micro. That's uh, free tier, that's uh, free with the um, free tier if you are using it for the first time. So I will just go so next, configuration instance details. I'll just go for number of instances one. Uh, leave the network as default. I'm not going to create anything new for this one. Um, pretty much default um, around here. I'll just go and create and launch. Um, let me review once again uh, if there is a network. So yep. RDP um, on the security groups, it is um, 000, so it will allow all um, instances uh, to connect from anywhere. So uh, this looks good. I will go ahead and review and launch. Uh, instance details, storage, I will leave it at default. Um, that's it. And we will launch the instance. So I will have to uh, download a key pair. Um, in order to create a new key pair. So let me uh, download a key pair. This would help us to uh, log in into the instance. So this would be our demo key pair download. So we have the demo key pair downloaded here. Now let's look at where we are with the launch. So we will go to the view instances option to see if our instance is up and running as of now. So let me, one thing, in order to connect to this, we will have to connect through a terminal or a remote desktop. So let me generate the Windows password before we, uh, go there. So let me go to get win uh, actions, get Windows password. Let me go and choose the file from here. Um, so, so let me choose the demo key pair which we downloaded, and, and I'll choose it here. Decrypt password, and then we have the password here. So let me just copy that, and I will create it to a new file. And leave it there, come back to my screen, close it. So now that we have generated the password for this instance, let me go ahead and launch the instance. Uh, so now that we have the instance up and running, we have the credentials, we will just go ahead and connect to the instance. So let me download the remote desktop file. Um, here is the IP and the username, so let me go ahead download it and then we'll go from there. Continue, we're connecting to the RDP host. So I have the password, let me connect. So that's coming up. So now we have the Windows instance up and running. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, install. Uh, so now that uh, we have the Windows instance running, let me go ahead and uh, download Chrome. Uh, and download. Uh, in parallel, I can do the Java as well. 
So uh, now that we have our EC2 on AWS up and running, um, I downloaded Chrome um, and installed it as well as Java, set up the environment variables uh, for Java. And uh, from selenium.dev website, I've downloaded the latest version of Selenium server standalone. Uh, so I have the file in my downloads. So let's start uh, working on the hub to set up the hub in cloud. So pretty straightforward, it's the same commands. Um, so let me go over to the command prompt. Java jar. Port, we'll use the default port and the role as hub. So yes, the hub is up. So let's connect to the hub and see if it is coming up. Sure, that's good enough. So let's uh, hit the console. Perfect. So that's that's working. So now um, I'm not going to create another instance for the node. I will just run another instance of command prompt. Um, so the same same instructions will go to we'll create another EC2 instance and then uh, we can run the node commands which will connect to the hub which is running on this server. So for now I will just uh, use another instance of command prompt and see that the node is connected and we'll go from there. This time we'll give another port and the uh, role will be node. Okay, so it is registered. Uh, let's refresh this page. Let's go to the console. Yep, we see the 45 connected to our hub. So thanks again. So I think we have set up the hub and node. Um, it's just that it's on the same instance, but we can do same steps on any other EC2 instance and have a number of instances connected to the hub for our Selenium testing. Um, thanks. Thank you all once again.